What's up everyone, welcome back to the channel. I hope y'all are doing well. So today we're gonna to be bringing back a series that I used to do pretty frequently, but I kind of stopped doing for a while because I thought it was being a little bit repetitive, but it's basically calling creepy numbers. And a lot of you have been requesting me to do more of these types of videos lately. And uh, I've been looking for new types of content to kind of bring back and I wanted to try a couple of these out because a few of you actually sent me a couple very mysterious and strange phone numbers to kind of give a call here and there kind of related to urban legends and creepypastas and what have you so I actually kind of I am interested to see if some of these actually do in fact work because I have called several creepy phone numbers in the past that have actually picked up and have said some creepy things even called me back some and even left me some very mysterious like voicemails and I'm hoping to get more of those because those are just very mysterious to me and I, I enjoy those very much but we're gonna be giving a call a number that you're not supposed to be calling at 3 a.m. to 4 a.m. now legend has it and there it's not so much a legend because this has actually happened to individuals and you can look this up on reddit and even 4chan but this comes from an individual on Twitter, and I can't pick up the, the Twitter handle right now, so my apologies. Find you, I will link you below in the comment section, so thank you very much. But there's actually some videos of people doing this, and it seems pretty creepy. So, legend has it that if you call this number at 3 a.m., around 3 to 4 a.m., known as the Devil's Hour, that you will actually get a message at the very end telling you your location and your address on where you actually live, and that your number is being traced. So leading many people to believe that this is actually kind of a like a some sort of hacker phone number or something like that that traces your location maybe by your phone or something like that. A couple people actually called this while driving in a car and they gave the location of the nearest city that they were passing. So I mean, how could you explain that? But basically right now it is uh, it is 4:29 right now in the evening. And I'm going to just give this call a, uh, I'm just going to give this a call really quick. And then actually tonight, I actually need to stay up pretty late and do some studying for a test that I have tomorrow. So I'm going to hopefully stay up until 3 a.m. or around that time at least, or maybe even set my alarm. And then I'm going to give the same phone number a call and see if something picks up. Or maybe if nothing picks up, then I'll maybe hope for a... Uh, maybe a mysterious voicemail or message. Just kind of want to see if this is real or fake. And uh, for those of you who are also interested to try or uh, then you can go ahead and uh, give this number a call as well. But the phone number I have it written down right here is 678-335-7891. Now we're going to go ahead and give that a call and just see if anything picks up. And uh, if not, we're just going to cut to 3 a.m. and see if, uh, if we get a different response. So we're going to give it a call at 6, 7, 8, 3, 3, 5, 7, 8, 9, 1. All right, as you can see, this is the exact phone number that a lot of individuals have claimed that actually picks up. So we're going to go ahead and give it a call, even though it's not 3 a.m. We're going to see what happens. We're sorry. You have reached a number that has been disconnected or is no longer in service. If you feel you have reached this recording error, please hang up and try your call again. Okay. You so it seems as though that we've reached a number that is no longer in service. But since, since we're idiots, we're going to call it again. So maybe something else will pick up. Six, seven, eight, three, five, seven, eight, one. We're sorry. You have reached a number that has been disconnected or is no longer in service. Okay. I'm going to call it one more time and then we are going to see. We're sorry. The number that has been disconnected okay. or is no longer okay so basically what we've found out here just very quickly is that this number this is an actual phone number and it just says that it's been disconnected and if you feel that this is an error then please try again later it says try again later so that kind of leads me to believe that there might be something on the other end of this so we're going to be waiting very long until 3 a.m. We're going to be giving this yet another call and see if it maybe changes. And if not, then it's probably a fake number. But if anything happens, then it'll probably prove that this number has some sort of weird paranormal or odd individual on the other end. 
All right, what's up everyone? So it is currently, um, it is currently 3.34 a.m. And earlier today, earlier this afternoon, turn the light on. I dialed a number, it was around four in the afternoon and I dialed this number and we are going to be trying, uh, nothing picked up. It just said that the number was actually kind of legit, that it's been no longer in service, and for to try again later if you believe that you dialed this incorrectly, but we're gonna be giving this a call now. It is the dead of night, and I am absolutely exhausted. So I kind of want to just get this over with and just go to bed. Six, seven, eight, three, three, five, seven, eight, Alright, that is the same number, and let's call it. Sorry, you have reached a number that has been disconnected or is no longer in service. If you feel you have reached this... Alright, so that is the same recording that we got earlier this afternoon when we tried to dial this. So, maybe when I go to bed tonight and get up, that there will be something... I don't know what I'm saying, I'm so tired. Maybe there'll be a voicemail up from this same number, so... Let's, uh, let's see if that works. What's up everyone? So very quickly, uh, it is currently, come on focus, it is currently 6.40 a.m. and I need to go to school here very soon, but I woke up to a message from the exact phone number that I called last night. I called it at, uh, I called it at 3 a.m. and I called it yesterday at about 4 p.m. and, uh, it, it's pretty creepy, but it's 29 seconds long and uh, I can't believe this actually worked. So we are going to listen to it here live. I haven't listened to it yet, uh, just to kind of verify. It is the same phone number, 678-335-7891. And I'm going to put it on speaker, and we're going to see what it says. So without further ado, let's... I uh, need to turn the volume up. Holy... That is insane. I can't believe that this number actually worked. So, um, yeah, I'm going to play it one more time, and then I, I have to get off. Uh, but let's play it one more time. I can't believe that. That is so cool. And a little bit creepy. I don't know uh, what that was. It sounded like there was a lot of scratching going on. It almost sounded like that was kind of like a droning sound of some sort, but I have no I have no idea. But that is that is impressive. I was not expecting that. I just thought it was just a regular... I mean, last night I was ready to come to the conclusion there's just a fake number, but no. This morning I woke up and I came to that message. And that is insane. Please let me know on Twitter and in the comments if you guys get any maybe similar callbacks or maybe messages or what have you. I'm very interested because this this kind of stuff really does interest me and I love doing videos like this. And uh, yeah, so thank you very much everyone for watching and I hope you enjoyed and I will talk to you all in the next video.